Injection of volatile organic compounds into a gas chromatograph typically involves use of a microliter syringe. We will be carrying out a manual injection using a 10 microliter syringe, which has a barrel that has graduated from 0 to 10 microliters, a fixed needle, and a plunger, which when fully depressed, occupies the length of the barrel, leaving a void in the needle. The uh, proper injection technique is important since the width and the shape of the peaks is dependent upon that reproducibility. Our injection technique, we first have to load sample into the syringe. This is done by inserting the needle below the surface of the sample and then pulling to the desired amount, in this case, one microliter. Once we reach that desired amount, we remove the needle from the liquid and pull the plunger until we see air enter the barrel of the syringe. We then wipe the needle clean and we're ready for injection. Upon inspection, you will notice that there will be a plug of air uh, before the sample and a plug of air after the sample. The sample is then injected into the GC using an injector port. This injector port is heated to about 200 degrees Celsius. This particular one consists of a tripod that when depressed initiates the run. We will actually inject the sample and initiate the run simultaneously. Force a syringe through the septum. You will feel some resistance, but force it through that septum and rest upon the tripod. And then we will inject the sample and trigger the run simultaneously. Then remove the syringe from the GC. To clean the syringe, we typically use a solvent such as acetone. Place a needle into the acetone, pull out some acetone, then inject that acetone onto a chem wipe or paper towel. Repeat this several times, two or three times is usually sufficient. Remove the plunger, but do not touch it, and then wipe it clean with the chem wipe. Reinsert the plunger into the syringe. And now is ready for use for another injection.